Hey friends, welcome to Everyday Family Adventure. I'm Trent. And I'm Siobhan. And today we are just, oh, I got something in my foot. Ow. Sorry. We are hanging out in New Jersey. Um, we're in the middle of New Jersey. We're like South Philly, but don't tell that to somebody from, from New Jersey. True. We're at a place called Hospitality Creek family campground and this is beautiful it is really really. i beautiful. would highly encourage you to check this out for a nice summer vacation it is super pricey i'm just going to come right up front and say it that is, crazy expensive crazy. we're here on like a 40 percent discount and it's still really expensive. it's 40 percent discount because everything's closed so they have this amazing like splash pad and pool all closed yeah um, great for kids and families that's why yes. we think it's awesome so yeah awesome awesome uh yeah, we like to we like to come to places like this when we get the opportunity to. But we did some ministry around here, and so we just decided to take a walk today because we wanted to share with you guys another step to our adventure this year as we get ready to go to the Kona the Kona Hawaii YWAM DTS this fall with our family in September, and we are still raising support for that, raising funds for that on our Patreon page and on TrentonShavon.com. But we wanted to give you the detail today on what are we going to do with our RV. And our cat. And, and our, our turtle. Cat and our turtle. Oh. So there's, yes, there's some things that obviously we have to iron out before we go. Yeah. And uh, the basic answer to that is that we don't know. We don't know. But we're not afraid and we're not worried. And, and to, to dispel any other questions too, because um, we're not necessarily leaving the RV lifestyle. Like yes. we still very much are gonna be in it and we don't feel there's any plans at all for us to get rid of our RV. We, yes. we love it and so. That's one thing we do know is that we don't feel like we're supposed to sell the RV. Right. So that's not necessarily on the table right now, selling the RV. Which is really funny because you know like we, I'm, I'm just gonna share this small little tidbit. We had like some television studio or something say, hey we wanna do like a, RV family television show with you guys and some other people we're really interested in you and then they found out about our, <laughs> our announcement and they're like no we don't like you anymore yeah well I'm like because we're because we're going to be leaving the RV for six months um, yeah. and I and I get that it's I get fine. that too it's, it's just fine. funny to me so <laughs> at any rate we're very grateful for what we're doing and I don't want to change any of that because of silly things like that we love what we do yeah so here's the big thing about the RV though, because that, that's our home, right? I mean, yeah, it has wheels, but it is our home. It's a, it's a part of our adventure and our family. And I'll be honest, guys, it's an amazing RV. You can't find anything like this. I can't tell you how many times mm -hmm. we tell people all the time as they're getting ready into this RV lifestyle, like how blessed we are with that machine because it's, it's made so well. It's made for us so well. Yeah. Um, but we do have to part with it for like six months. So what are we gonna do? This is something so, that we both feel in agreement with. Yeah. But this is definitely something that we feel God spoke to Siobhan. And so we wanted to reveal it to you and we realized that telling you guys about this today, you know, we may get a lot of concerned people. So, you know, <laughs> I'll let you tell about it. I'm about to sneeze. Oh, so okay. <clears throat> now that's just you. Typically, like if you say, "Hey, I got to sneeze," then then you can't do it. That's just you. Like if if I know I have to sneeze, I can say something, and then I can find a, a light to look at, and I'm good. Okay, um, back to the RV. So when we felt the Lord was leading us to consider and apply for YWAM, um, I, you know that was one of the first things I asked God. I said, "But what about our RV? What are we supposed to do?" Um, because we're not necessarily wanting to stop RVing. Um, this is just kind of like, for now, a side trip. Um, but I really felt the Lord say that there is a family who is going to need our RV for six months. And so, um, you know, whether that's to, I don't know, whether it's for a special trip or whether they're wanting to try uh, this lifestyle, the full-time RVing lifestyle for six months with their family. I don't know, but um, but I really felt that. And so I believe that there's a family that's going to need to rent an RV for a decent price, not like something that you would 
Yeah, we're not get, trying to make money. We're not trying to make there. money. We but do we have, still have a loan on it. We do still so, have a small, yeah. you know, compared to most RV payments, we have a small RV Very payment. Small. And um, and so that's that's where we're feeling like this is going for the RV is that we're going to have somebody renting it from us uh, from September to March about. Um, and then as far as the cat and the turtle, you know, um, Oh, Kona, she's was... like 14 years old guys. And <laughs> I'm praying that she just dies before. Oh, that's sad to I say. Love her no. so much, we love her to pieces, so but, um, but wow. she's a good kitty and I've been like, I just want to take her with us. I know her, her name, name is, is Kona. Kona. She should be able Jinx. to come with us. But I really don't think that the school is going to be into us bringing um, yeah. a cat into student housing and stuff. So we're going to have to find a family to foster the kitty and the turtle. True. Um, so if you... There's some the, questions. There's a whole lot of things that this might be you. This yeah, video might, might just strike you. a chord with you today. And we'll just say, hey, just email us. And if you, know, you we'll if you happen to want an RV, a kitty, and a turtle, <laughs> like that would be yeah. that would be God right there. <laughs> well, you know, here's the thing. You know, you never know how crazy things are. You know, I, when we went to sell our house, guys, before we got the RV, we had 19 chickens in a chicken coop at the in the in the back of the house. The house and we, we loved those and we chickens. loved them they were part of our family the house was not a like you know it was a beautiful little farmhouse but it's it wasn't like you know cookie cutter curb appeal from dallas fort worth right it was like just a farmhouse and and so it appeals it to was a certain... our dream but it's not everybody's dream exactly yeah right? but here's the thing that was our prayers like god would you make it in such a way that whoever wants this house wants the chickens too? And I'll tell yeah. you what, that's exactly what happened. Yes. And they paid us more than what we expected for our house. Like, yeah. So these things are very much the case. So and our house sold in three days. Yeah. Three days we had an offer, cash offer, and they wanted our chickens too. So we didn't have to worry about finding new homes for them. Right. They were all, it was all taken care of. The reality is like, I know that we're like an RV channel and stuff, but if you don't think God is very much involved in the small little details of your life, then this might not be for you. But the reality is, is we do. We, we very much think that God has a plan for us, that he is very concerned with the small, minute details of our life. Yes. And we put our faith in that. So that's awesome. I'm excited about it. So there it is. There's a few details for you guys, a few things that we wanted to share. More updates coming soon. Please, please, if God is laying anything on your heart, to give financially for us to go on this missions trip. Uh, there's a couple ways you can do that. You can do that on our website, trentandshavon.com. You can do it through Patreon because that's a cool area and a fun network where we've been communicating with people on a more exclusive level. Uh, nothing that you're missing though, you're getting all of it. Mm -hmm. And then another way too, if you'd like to have us in your church, uh, or in your house, we're making a big uh, leap this, this summer. We we're talking about our travel plans. We just talked about that on our last video. So there's yeah. a few ways you and can help out. And there's another video coming up that's going to be all about the finances for this trip. True. So, you know, if you're curious about what that looks like, what you're going to be supporting, keep an eye out because we're going to talk all about I that in the next. I made a pie chart for our newsletter. Like me. I made, <laughs> you a, pie you made a pie chart. I know. That's awesome. I know. I was, I'm trying to be diligent. So. Anyways, guys. Oh, and then we don't forget the next another video that we have coming out is what is the kids? What do the kids think about this? Yes. So I've already been getting little interviews with them. I can't wait for you to hear what Graham says. <laughs> okay, guys. We're so grateful to have you part of the journey. Remember, we can make the world better. I believe we can. Bye. Bye.